So, we are in purple ranks and in these ranks, the three-way neutral is going to be very, very important to keep in mind. Uh, for those who don't know what the three-way neutral is, it's basically a theory that says that the neutral has three main approaches, keep out, offense, and baiting. Well, in these ranks, most of your opponents will always choose one of these approaches and stick to it the whole time, you know what I mean? Down, forward, one string, okay. Side step left. Yeah. I had to side step left because I felt like he was gonna do it again. He pressed. Okay, keep out. Let's keep that keep out in mind. And see, finishing st strings is also good. But this, um, this Prime player has a high prowess, so he probably has a TGP. Okay. okay, keep out. He did 3 plus 4 into orbital, so he really want to force the keep out. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, so step left to get out the way. Okay, keep out. I was scouting that orbital so hard. Let's try this. Okay, didn't work. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Did not work. Doesn't matter. Alright, so <clears throat> in two rounds he did three orbitals. Um, so he really wants to enforce the keep out. Right. Let's not wreck our brains and just think about with punishment. Threaten him with uh, forward dashing. Okay, now he's playing aggressive. Nice, that was nice. He's playing, playing aggressive. Okay, I knew it, I just knew it. Nice. Okay. okay, that wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all. He tried to switch it up at some point and played aggressive for a moment. So, that was very good because most players in these ranks, I mean, he's not a real red rank or purple rank, but most players in these ranks don't cycle the neutral. They always stick to one approach, which makes it easier for us. Okay, see, he did again. Keep up. I was I was waiting for the keep up. This time he kind of messed up because he kind of stuck to. He's still sticking to keep up. Now he's playing a bit more aggressive, which is good. Um, I'm waiting for a whiff. Okay, now he, I knew he would come in with something like offense, right? Like back one or um, or hatchet, so I did my keep out to beat this offense. It's rock paper scissors basically. Okay, I need to chill. I have the life lead. I don't need to do anything. No. Nah. Okay, chill. Chill. I'm gonna chill. Okay. <laughs> See that was that was kinda ugly but sometimes you don't need to overextend at all. Right? Sometimes you can just forget about the flashy stuff and just hold back, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, no duck. Right, he did one two on hits into a slow move. Okay, nice duck. So I noticed that he doesn't really use his frames like that. Whenever he has big plus frames, he doesn't really use them for counter hits and stuff. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Down for one. Okay. Okay, see what I mean? He did head shit into down four. So. I can kind of mash, right? He lets me mash after that. That's why I did magic 4 after it. Um, yes. Yes, yes. Finishing strings, guys. Finishing strings. Let's go. Fight. Nice. Four two two wall carry. Loki the best because of the damage. Um, Okay, 
catch it. Boom! Just like I said in round 3, this player doesn't really use his plus frame, so there's a green light for me to mash, right? Wara. All in all, I'm pretty comfortable against this character. And I think this matchup is pretty fun for Leo. Um, but yeah, we have another high prowess player. Let's see what his approach is. He started with down for two. Okay. Okay, dash down three four. So this guy, yeah, he's pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. Sidestep left, and magic four is very effective against this kind of uh, style, especially against this character. Lost my back dash. Doesn't respect down back one plus two. Let's keep that in mind. To down one. Okay, he's very aggressive right now. He's trying to grab me. But yeah, sidestep left, magic four. There we go. Yeah. Magic four is my keep out. And since he's offensive, it will work because keep out always beats. Okay. Whiffed. But anyway, um, keep out beats offense. He loves down 3 4. Sidestep left. There we go. Sidestep left, magic 4. That's like the basic anti water. That's basic. Oh, I thought I had wall. There we go. I tried to enforce that down back one plus. Just playing this rock paper scissors game will skyrocket you to two ranks easy. That's all you have to do. You, have, you just have to look at the opponents, look at what the, the approach they are going with, and most of the time in purple ranks they will stick to that one approach. So it makes it easier for us to build a plan immediately okay he started off with that at the beginning of the round so i know that he's aggressive right he doesn't respect f4 let's keep that in mind right he doesn't respect knk so i'm gonna try to hit, hit him with knk2 at some point okay that was unfortunate wow Okay, I just backdash to see if he would um, do the same thing. He didn't this time. Okay, nice. My bad. Okay, let's try KNK again. Boom! There we go. Yeah, so strings will work again. Yes. Just a disclaimer for those who are curious, I am not smurf. Okay. Uh, I lost my rank safe files for the second time and I'm trying to get back to my old rank. That's why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this for fun. I promise you. I promise you I'm not. Yo, I just made a huge mistake. <laughs> I just accepted a Wi-Fi. A Wi-Fi Chloe? Yep, GG's. GG's. By the way, um, I had one loss during this run and it was against the Wi-Fi player. So I honestly might lose this. I might lose this. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Round one. Fight. Okay, this is gonna be tough because it doesn't play by the rules. There's no rules, like, which is good, you know, it's unpredictable. But that makes it tough for us to apply the three way neutral because this player just does whatever he, they want, like, so that's tough. Oops. 
that was bullshit. But honestly, I guess this type of type of player, I would say, man, it's tough, man, it's tough. Just wait. I guess just wait, right? Just wait. They won't make mistakes themselves. They won't make mistakes just like this. Always be ready with the with punishment. Don't really engage into 50-50s that much. You know, only when you feel like you have to, but for the most part, just wait, right? Okay. I have no idea what they are doing, and they probably don't have any idea of what they are doing. So it makes it very hard to like read them, you know what I mean? Does okay. Just wait. I could have punished that. Okay. That was a missing point. That was almost a missing point, but it worked. Round four. Fight. Mm -hmm. He's doing something. Whatever you're about to do, just do it. <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. Okay. Do the rage rod. Well, that went well. Alright, let's go. Oh man, skip the intro, brah. Oh, he actually did. <laughs> I love this guy. I might give him the win just for that. Max respect. Okay. Okay, he definitely doesn't respect Monsu. This comes down to uh, the same thing I said about the Brian player. Um, they don't really use their frames well in these rings. Like sometimes you are allowed to interrupt and even sidestep, sidewalk. That's what I did just now. Okay, that's good. You got my. Uh, I'm waiting for the win. Bad with punish. Okay. okay, just wait. Just wait. Alright. Oh. Okay. Okay, I thought I had the wall. DF4 is so good, especially at the wall, because of the pushback. Oh, Miss inputs are kicking my ass, but that was DF2. Okay, see? They're doing like a lot of fake pressure, you know? They're not using their frames. And with they, I mean players in these ranks. Right? So you can allow to disrespect him, basically. Just keeping it simple right now. Okay. Just keep it simple, right? Jab, jab, down forward four. Down forward one. Basically, the approach I'm gonna go with against Yoshimitsu is gonna be waiting and baiting. Basically just wait for him to do his bullshit, right? Um, okay, I step there. Oops. New bad, y'all. New bad, new bad, new bad. <laughs> okay. Just wait and interrupt. If you think they are going outside of their frames, don't be afraid to interrupt. Okay. 
just wait. Yeah, basically just waiting. And another reason why you don't want to pressure Yoshimitsu too much is because of Flash, right? Especially in this matchup, Flash really kills Leo's pressure. Um, like, DF2 plus 3 isn't a real frame trap anymore. You know, after down 2, there's really not much you can do to pressure. Um, Flash interrupts back 1 4. It's like. You don't. You can't really pressure against uh, Yoshimitsu that loves to use Flash. But baiting works. And here we go. We are Fujin. Uh, road to Amp soon. I might keep playing, basically. Um, yeah. Road to Emperor. Let's go. Cool. 